Hello, hello, hello. Welcome to Crafting Mayhem and More. This is Kina, and this is Whip and Chat uh, the week before Christmas. So, uh, I think Christmas is, ooh, Saturday or Sunday. So, Merry Christmas, everybody. I, your girl been procrastinating on this video. I don't know why. I've been a YouTube crackhead junkie. <laughs> <laughs> like I'm sitting here damn and painting. I could be doing a darn whip and chat, but no. I'm listening to everything, all the things on YouTube that I should not be listening to. But let's get into this video real quick. And um I am currently working on Darman Art Club's um Harry Potter. I would love to show you guys the the picture. Um, it is not the crest. It's that movie poster one, but it, I can't show you the picture because if I did, I'd have to get up and get the box and I'm not going to do that. I would have to get up and get the box because it did not come with an inventory sheet. It did not come with stickers. I'm just out here blind, deaf and dumb. Now I did print, take a photo and print out the, the legend on the side of the, um, canvas but i forgot to get it <laughs> when i went downstairs so yeah that's not gonna happen anyway um i was like a lot disappointed in, in that but it seems like i vaguely remember somebody doing a review or a sneak peek on this canvas and they said that um it wasn't gonna come with a sticker but even if it didn't come with a sticker it could have came with an inventory sheet, so I wouldn't have been hand labeling my bottles. Okay, so yeah, I'm I'm a little upset about that. So today's equipment, I this actually this came with like twenty bags of three ten. So I bust out the big ass tray that I got from Amazon. Um, I don't kid up this number. I just open the bags and throw it in the big A Z Z tray and that just works out fine because one less bottle i have to kit up i am working today with my honeycomb i don't know if you guys can see it or if it's doing any justice uh glow in the dark pen from um nicole of Pashi pans i'm using my um <laughs> simple plain old pen this is probably the one that came in this kit and this is one i use for my um ab's every now and again you might see me pick up my palm placer and i would go through my pens but basically all the pens that i use i use pashi pens because she's my girl and it's my favorite so i i like it um i am using glue dots and the single placer and then just wax in my two placer and i'm using a two placer uh instead of something bigger for the black i'm using it because the two placer um basically um more control easier to deal with and um i don't have to continually straighten it up so it's almost like using a single spacer but um, you just get the work done twice as fast or something like that I, instead of six times as fast. I don't know. Um, and it's easier to, for me to use the checkerboard method. But right now, I am going to single place while I do this video. So I guess we could uh, start out with, um, what's up with you, Kina? Girl, ain't nothing up with you. <laughs> Kina is still unemployed. Um I actually had a really great interview with um, a nursing home for a director of nursing, assistant director of nursing position. I could tell that the interview went well. She really liked me. Um, they called back, you know, all that kind of good stuff. Um, the salary was at my point where I needed to, it to be. And uh, it's close to home, against traffic, just everything. It was pretty perfect or maybe not because the universe didn't make it happen so apparently um this nursing home is under the same umbrella or owned by the same people as the organization that i just quit and um 
Apparently, they spoke to them about the circumstances under which I left, and I won't go back into that. But, um, yeah, mm-hmm. They didn't all give me the job offer, although the guy had called me back, the recruiter for them, saying that, um, you know, we're trying to figure out how to give you an offer. So I guess they decided not to, but go ahead and be petty betty because karma is one thing, you know, it, it comes around and I'm not going to worry about it. It is what it is. There's always something else. I am a nurse. I could easily go back to the bedside. Not going to happen, um, but I'm not. So it is what it is. Uh, of course, now that I am doing the video, <laughs> Messenger's gonna pop up all over the place on my iPad, um, on my phone, everything. I ha ended up doing a new angle with this phone because the way I usually do it, it's kind of in my way. I have to, I'm short. So if I wanna look at the screen on the um, phone, to see what's recording, what the angle is, what I need to move. I have to stand up and do all this contorting and all this kind of stuff. And again, I'm short. My limbs are short. Contortion is not my thing. It does not work for me. It does not work for me. That being said, um, what else? I think we're going to spend Christmas Eve at my sister's house. But it is supposed to be a deep freeze, right? And that ain't cool. So I don't, I don't really kind of, I don't know if I want to go out in the cold, but you know, you got to do what you got to do. So I guess we'll be Christmas in it here, but I don't know how that's going to work because my sister didn't come over here and put up the Christmas tree. I don't care what y'all say. She didn't come over here and put up, put up the Christmas tree. So now we don't have a Christmas tree and it's all her fault. And yes, that's what it is. All right. <laughs> um, my bell, which is Noel, I call her Noel, my bell. Uh, she has not been over here. She's supposed to come over here the other day and, you know, I was yesterday and take her to school. But her mom said she had to get her hair washed. She had to clean her room and all this mess. So that didn't happen. Um, they just cut us off. You know, her mom had said she was going to be spending more time with her children and not working so much. And so where Noel basically lived here, like she has her own room, yeah, she's not here anymore like that. So I'm kind of going a little bit through withdrawals as far as that goes. But, you know, kids need to be with their parents. And honestly, n not being a place where the rules always change. So if she's over here, she has a set of rules. When she goes home, she has a set of rules. When she's at her other grandparents' house, there I'm sure there's another set of rules. So she needs a little bit of stability and especially, you know, with her mom. So that that's a thing. Um, so while I'm going through my withdrawals, I'll be okay. I'll be okay. <laughs> and honestly, Noel was the only child for eight years and she's a loner so she she has a little brother now he is one i believe and um she still presents with you know only child syndrome so um that's the thing with the age difference although my sister i'm eight years older than my sister and you know she never, you know, we have a relationship, so I'm sure as he gets older, um, and it's not a, a dominance thing, their relationship will be a good one. So that that'll be cool. That'll be cool. Um, mom is doing okay. This is the first Christmas without dad, so I have no more dad stories to tell. Um, can't go to the cemetery because he was cremated. Although I probably should go to the cemetery and do something Christmassy for my brother. But shit, it's cold, y'all. And they talking about it's going to be a deep freeze over this next week. I think starting Thursday, which is the 21st, is it? No, that's Wednesday. It's the 21st because that's my sister's birthday. Um, So, yeah, it's going to be cold as heck across the lower 48. So, you know, Canada's going to get in and we right behind them. So, 
Whew. I hope y'all ready. I hope y'all ready. And for those of you who have to smoke outside like me, get your heater set up. So I get up early in the morning. I cut my heater on and it helps the sun out because I do not unplug it because at night it can be brutal out there. Um, What else is going on? Personally, I think that's about it as far as what's going on um, in my life. I don't have any more updates other than the fact that the shame of not putting up the Christmas tree. <laughs> Christmas tree this year. Like, it is just chilling in the garage, looking at me, looking at it, looking at me. Yeah, that kind of thing. But that's okay, because there's no small children in the house. Noelle can just come over here and sit by the fireplace and open her gifts. And I hope she's happy with whatever she gets. And, you know, we only have one grandchild or I only have one grandchild, so it's not like um, the biggest deal. If I had more, I'd probably be the one all out and presents all over the place. But it's just her, and we get her so many, you know, every my daughters have no children, so this is my son's child. So um, we basically get her everything she wants, but she has so much, she doesn't play with any one thing. So I limit it what I got her this year. And I got her things that um, I know that she's interested in. And something with her, um, she has a issue with like expressing her emotions. So I found this cool ass book. Um, it's called Mommy and Me. And it's a book where kids can, instead of talking to their parents, if it, you know, if they find it difficult, they write down what it is that they need to say at a particular time um, and they leave it in a certain place and then mom checks the book and then mom responds by writing, you know, and, it, and just a way to start expressing emotions and then eventually creating a dialogue behind it. So sometimes it's just better to write. And I think that this would be a great, good precursor to journaling, um, which I wish I would have got into when I was younger and now I just can't. But anyway, um, so I bought her several. I bought one for her mom. She can express whatever she needs for her mom. I bought one for her, for each one of my daughters and her. So if she needs to talk to them, she can leave whatever she needs to leave. And then of course I bought one for me so she can tell me something if she needs to tell me. So I thought that was pretty, pretty cool. I got that from Amazon and, um, yeah, it was just kind of cool. I think I would have been a little closer to my parental units had I had something like that. Because, I, I I, mean, I'm a quiet person. Like, I don't express my emotions. Like, I, I'm not the one to be crying. You know, I'm the tough guy. So, um, that's the thing. But I don't want her to be that. I don't want her to hold stuff in. I want her to be able to say whatever it is that she needs to say. Y'all, I need to go downstairs and get that um, print out of this legend because me trying to look over here for these symbols and I'm I'm not digging it. And I, I don't know if this was supposed to be a thing, but I'm irritated by it straight up. Um, So, yeah, this is not good for me. Anyway, um, I'll get over it. Um, I'm trying to be cool because if, I don't know if you guys watched, um, I did a little post on something, I don't know. And I, uh, tried to do my, um, what did I do? Oh, I had a mystery diamond painting, right? And it was a diamond art club and uh it was horrible it was like i bought that damn diamond painter from aliexpress or wish or whatever or you know found it at the dollar store it was horrible i mean i have never had an experience with a deck that wasn't a good one so um i was pretty much taken aback i ended up putting that sucker back in the box and was really done with it and I was really upset because it and this is one of my um 
favorite artists over there on deck and I have several of her pieces but I have not done them and um when I really like something I'm gonna do I'm gonna single uh, single place I'm gonna enjoy I'm doing it if it's 45,000 drills I'm gonna put every one of those 45,000 drills down one at a time <laughs> to make the the experience last right so i was so hurt but i said okay they got a lifetime warranty let me um notify deck that these drills are slipping and sliding all over the place that i don't know what's going on with this canvas it some points it felt like the drills were too small at some points it felt like the glue oh the glue the glue is like a thin layer of glue like deck's glue it's a little cushy like you get some mm, some pushback on it when you're when you're putting your drills down none of that with that painting so um i did a uh, contact customer service this morning and their responsiveness was on point like i got a chance to tell somebody that i did contact customer service and in the midst of me texting that message they responded and according to the person that responded, um, the glue needs to set, right? So he told me to take the plastic off for a couple days so that the glue could set. And I did that. It's, it's downstairs, you know, letting the glue set. I had to take it in the basement where nobody would go. So, you know, nothing untoward would get on the canvas and mess up a canvas, right? We don't have any pets, so I don't have that to worry about. Only thing, I guess, maybe a spider or something crawling in the glue. <laughs> but nothing the pony, pointy tweezers cannot handle. Anyway, I'm hoping that that works because I had not opened the box. And I bought the painting in December of 2021. So I'm thinking if I bought this in December of 2021, uh, sir, the glue should be set. It's been a year, like uh, exactly a year since this purchase. If the glue hasn't set, really, is it going to set? So I don't know these things. Um, the reality is, though, for me, is that I... um keep my paintings in the basement it is not humid in my basement it is cool it is dry uh i don't unbox so i don't open i don't take it out the plastic i do nothing i leave it as is um there are times when i get um paintings and i do them right away like black santa i had no problems and didn't need to let the glue set so um again Dak was very responsive. They followed up with how how was my service uh, with customer service. You know, I filled out that survey, and the guy was good. I mean, I, like I said, I didn't blink my eye good, swallow and take a drink of water before he was responding, telling me what to do. So I hope that's the case. And I don't know. Maybe if they sit that long unopened, um you know you you better think about you know letting the glue set i don't know if that's a thing because i'm kind of having that same issue with this uh with this painting so i hope that doesn't become a trend and i'm glad about two of these but again like i had my train of dreams down there and i know i had that at least six to eight months before I did it and it wasn't slipping in the sliding. And so I don't know. So maybe it's just because it's been sitting. And if that's the case, be warned. If you have had a deck <laughs> sitting somewhere in the box, unopened for over a year, let's say eight months, please take the plastic off for a day or two and let the glue cure but this would be a little science experiment for us and i will definitely definitely let you know on my next um whipping chat how that worked out for me it's a little irritating because i am at that point what number is it 797 i not having that inventory sheet or those labels is blowing me so anyway um What's I gonna say? 
the uh we'll see i just don't um i just don't understand like i said and every dog has this day and nobody's perfect and as long as they're willing to correct it or guide me in the way of what is right um i will post what has happened um with these things or if you guys have had an experience like this and it's it's been a thing for you please let me know because i was traumatized i swear to god i was traumatized <laughs> i was truly truly traumatized um you can ask i was uh who's i talking to samantha from blunts and gems and girl it was a total traumatic experience i just so glad i had somebody there for me <laughs> Now, I'm, I'm laughing about it, but, you know, we pay a lot of money for these doggone diamond paintings and um, even more if you're going to try to frame them. And uh, Ennis, yeah, I'm going to do something. I'm mounting that. If um, this Harry Potter, I'm mounting it. So I need it to be 100%. And for me, I am going to have to take off all those darn drills that I started putting on it just to... Um, to get it right like I want it. So now I might be in a drill deficit. Now, you know, I keep my leftover drills and I make sure if it's a DAC, if it's DAC drills, it's labeled. So um, that's not a problem. And I think that if I <sighs> take those drills off, I can ask DAC to replace the drills because I am not getting ready to, you know, it's, it's a good painting. I like it. And I actually, in the process of trying to determine if Ennis was a male or a female, um, I came across the actual painting that was supposed to be a surprise and, um, I love it. So yeah, I'm not going to give up on it. Not just yet. Alrighty. Um, that being said, um, what else have I been into? Oh, oh, people. I straight fell head first, eyes wide shut down the rabbit hole of AI and digital art. <sighs> so I, in my infinite wins, no, in my, in my procrastination, of course, have been looking at tons and tons of videos, right? So I'm looking at these videos and, um, oh, shoot. So I'm looking at these videos and I co go come across um, AI art. And, y'all, that's why I couldn't get this video done earlier today. I was creating and making and creating and making and creating and making. It's going to be a whole lot of uh, custom projects that I have going on um, in my new purchases of diamond painting because I can make my own shiznit <laughs> and get them custom printed. And it's exactly what I want. And it's made by, well, it's made by a computer made by me. Okay. So in any event, um, that is a real thing, and it really is a rabbit hole because I got stuck like a duck today. I was like, ooh, I did that. Ooh, I did that. You know, and really, you're not really doing anything except that I came across another um, creator that does a different um, genre uh, than diamond painting, and she had a video up on how to improve or edit your AI creation so that it looks exactly. So you you generally, in general terms, tell this program what it is that you want, but, and it creates it. And it's not exactly what you want, but um, you have the option to use editing software to uh, polish it off. And so I'm, I'm gonna see what happens with that. But it is a severe rabbit hole because when I tell you I spent a lot of time on that today, I spent a lot of time on that. I should not have nearly as many <laughs> created pictures that I have that I have that I have in my portfolio just starting the day, but I do. Yes, I do. And the cool part of about it is is that you can use it 
on your Cricut. You can download it for a whole lot of stuff. And man, I was having a ball. So I think what I'm going to do is, because my granddaughter likes to draw, um, but she's into that anime mess and I'm not, you know, age difference. So um, I'm going to introduce that to her as she spends time with us over this Christmas holidays and maybe she can um get really good at it and I can tell her what I'm looking for and she could figure it out. But um we have to monitor her on um uh, social media because whew, this girl, you know, I just she really hasn't done anything but Thing, you know, she she says stuff and I'm like, why would you tell something? You don't know that person like and she's nine and I know that they don't have a complete understanding of exactly what's going on. So, you know, basically, sis, you need to uh, be on so, uh, social media or on these little Roblox platforms. See, they say Roblox like it's a game, but it's adults on there trolling. And uh, I'm that grandmother, and I am too old to be, you know, in lockup, gym pop about my granddaughter because that's exactly what's going to happen. <laughs> and so she cannot really get on um, applications without being monitored by an adult. Like an adult has to be able to look over there and sis, don't you be open. Oh, why am I putting this on the wrong stuff? Don't you be over there. Um, you know, turn into the side or clicking off as soon as an adult walk past. Nope. We got to be able to see you from the stove where we cooking. I can't believe I just did that, y'all. hate when I do that. Run in my mouth. I had in my head that this is what I was going to get, but I didn't. So here we go. Fix the problem. I sure did. So let me get all these off. And I, you know, I see people with their tweezers or whatever. Here's me with my fingers all the time. All the time. It just works better. I'm not pulling up the glue or anything like that. I can't believe I just did this and I got it right in front of my face. Alrighty. Um, what else is going on? Plans for the new year. So... My biggest plan for the new year is get your ass a job, okay? Your bank account said you need to go ahead and stop playing. That's number one. Not hurting yet, but don't want to even be in the situation. I, I'm, I'm a spender. I am a product of COVID where I am a now addicted to online shopping. And so... I am finding myself holding back on purchases that I want to make. And I don't know what that's like, but I guess I'm going to learn today. And um, so I have to uh, make that a priority. But the biggest change for me in the new year is um, learning more about the law of attraction. Now, I have used the law of attraction off and on in specific situations, but I have not made it a lifestyle change. And it's not a bad thing because it's all about focusing on your emotions in the aspect that um that that your emotions is energy and that the whole universe op operates off of energy. Everything is about the energy and the vibe and um so with that, see, these are sliding too, and this is about to irritate me. So I, I'm really, yeah, this is about to irritate me because that was put on totally straight. But I can see them moving to the side, and it's not cool. Anyway, all right. I'm trying not to get frustrated. So I am working on that as well as spirituality. But one of the things that I wanted to do with you guys is um, do a money challenge for next year. And we could ball on a budget because I'm not working right now either. So we could ball on a budget. So they have the different money challenges like the 100 envelope challenge. They got like a bingo challenge. They got like a um, no, no buy weekend challenge. Just 
a whole bunch of challenges. So I'm going to throw something together um, for my next whip and chat. Um, it's going to be a thing <laughs> and I want you all to participate in it. Um, my one challenge that I really wanted to do was to save $20,000 um, challenge, but recognizing, you know, that everybody can not do that. And I'm new to it too, and I'm not working. Um, that's probably not going to be a reality for me either at this point. Um, if I start working, I could play catch up, I guess. But, um, yeah, I'll figure it out and I'll have all that, um, information. Um, additionally, I'm going to be putting up content as I go through this spiritual awakening. <laughs> no, as I, um, commit to, um, I don't know, um, accepting you know, using the law of attraction and or assumption as a model for how um, I operate um, for the rest of these years of my life. And you guys might want to um, check it out too. You know, I'm not trying to prophesize or anything to anybody. And this is not about any religion. It's just about um, how you think in terms of attracting the good and the positive to your life. So, you know what? I'm not into organized religion. And um, I'm going to try it. I'm really going to try it. And the thing is, is that I have done it at, you know, consciously about some things in the past before. And, and shit works. Like, it works. I have done it when I've been broke as hell. And felt like I needed and I needed some money. And then I look up and then here comes, you know, this or that. And it comes to you. And I, all I did was meditate on it. But I want this to become something in my life where um, I walk into somebody with some negative energy. Man, I know how to turn around real quick and, and you know, do me. And sometimes a part of that is saying no. I mean, a lot of people um, overextend themselves. They're yesing to everything. You can't do that. You can't do that um, all the time. You Sometimes you got to learn how to say no. And that's one of the things that um, I have learned over the years. Man, say no. Just say no. Because, you know, if everything operates based on energy and you're always saying yes that means you're always giving your energy to somebody else so when it comes time for you what do you do you put it off you you oh um i was gonna do this for me i was just gonna rest but so and so needs me to do this so when do you get to rejuvenate your energy when do you get to use your energy for you so um yeah this year learn to say no more, although I got that down. <laughs> I figured that out. Once that became a habit and easy enough to say, man, no. Mm -mm, I ain't going to be able to do it. And I'm going to tell you a prime example. One of my friends is my brother's um, ex-girlfriend from when we were younger. And they lost a child together. So um, she... Her birthday was the other day. So she called me like, I know you coming to my um, birthday party, blah, 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 blah. And I'm thinking, no, I'm not. <laughs> you know, I haven't, my hair's not done. I, you know, have been sitting around all day. Forgot all about it, number one. Wasn't even in, on my radar. And I just did not feel like going. It was cold. It was snowing that day. I'm like, you know, anything could happen. And I just really did not feel like going. Like, I, I, nothing against supporting her or anything like that. I didn't feel like it. So, I just told her, you know what? I'll see if my friend wants to go with me. And if that's the case, I will come because I wasn't going to drive. Um, but other than that, if you don't see me and don't don't be looking out the door, Thomas, Kina, Kina here. Um then I wish you a happy birthday and I hope you really enjoy yourself. But you know what? I had to say no. 
I had to say no because um, I felt like I get up at 3 a.m. So I've been waking up at 3 a.m. And for me, waking up at 3 a.m. means that um, as organized religious people would tell you, they would say, God is trying to tell you something. Well, the universe is trying to tell me something. Somebody, the spirit adds, whoever, you know, my guardian angel, whatever, God at that point, source, higher power, is trying to tell me something. So it's so quiet at that time. It's so easy for me to just sit up and meditate. But, you know, waking up at that time, by the time you call me at two o'clock in the afternoon, I've been up, what, 10 hours or so um, or longer. Girl, it's time for me to take a nap because <laughs> my day has started already. My day is pretty much done. I've, you know, done my laundry. I've diamond painted. I've looked at all the videos I need to look at. It's time for me to take a nap. And I don't mind getting up at that time. And I've been waking up, you know, usually I wake up. Let's just tell the truth. Usually I wake up at, um, about 430. Sometimes I wake up at three. Lately I've been working, waking up at three, 330. I don't know why that is. Maybe it's because I am on this particular journey but at the end of the day i'm trying to get my habits set before the first of the year because at the first of the year i'm not gonna have a choice this has to be a part of my routine i done messed up this um checkerboard and so bad <laughs> i started out that way but this is just not it it's not working and this glue is all over the place so I am trying to go as slow as I possibly can with this. I don't know why <sighs> they're sliding. So I think what I'm going to do tonight, I'm, I'm sorry, I don't went off on, on a tangent, is that I'm going to take the plastic off of this one too because I'm not digging the way that these pieces are moving on here. And hopefully that'll work. This is irritating as heck. I'm almost getting frustrated about it. But anyway, I think I have said that all that I had to say for this whipping chat. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please come. Oh, last thing. Last time I looked, I was at 99 subscribers. Now, let me tell you something. I've been at 83, 87 subscribers for over a year. Just did not move. Uh, I'm going to tell you how law of attraction works. I happened across uh, Blunts and Gems, and uh, we started chatting. We really hit it off. She's funny as all get out and um, genuine and just real, you know, to tell the truth. So um, in talking to her, uh, I am up to 99 subscribers, and it's only been a couple weeks. So at 100 subscribers, I'm going to do a giveaway. I have tons <laughs> of diamond paintings. And um, you can either choose one of the big name brands. And I'm going to pick out which one I know that I'm not going to do. And I'll, um, yeah, so I'm going to choose one of those for the giveaway. Either a name brand or you can have like five to 10 i don't know i have to go through my stash of the um budget friendly diamond paintings so you could choose one good one or a lot of maybe maybe not i don't know but they will all be pu um beautiful they won't be any partials in there they're just the kits that i like so as soon as i hit 100 i am actually gonna do a live yes <laughs> if i can figure it out and then I'll do my giveaway then, which means I have to do my hair. With that being said, because it could be tomorrow. It could be tomorrow because I'm one person away. Uh, I'm going to bid you adieu. <laughs> Say good night. Sayonara and all that good stuff. If you like the video, tell your friends. Oh, I got to say one more thing. Whitney Diamond Paints commented on my 
one of my videos and I was fangirling like a mug. I told her that and she was cracking up, but that, that was just funny. I'm like, oh shit, Whitney, watch me. Um, now I know Gracie watches and I know Lisa from Scrapping Like a Lady watch, but them my girls. Uh, Whitney, uh, I watch her stuff and I remember when I first started diamond painting, she was like, one of the, uh, like, ooh, like the second black person I saw that um, had a channel. And so, yeah, I related to her a lot. Um, anyway, thanks, Whitney. Just wanted to throw that out there. Thank you if you have subscribed. I know that I have um, two new subscribers that I saw pop up, and I can't remember their names, and I forgot to look them up. So I'm getting a little sleepy now. Anyway, like, subscribe, tell your friends, and come back for that giveaway as soon as I um, reach 100 subscribers. All right, guys. Enjoy. Merry Christmas.